The man who struck and killed a Georgetown teenager on his bicycle last year is free. Aaron Davison was released from jail Thursday night, less than three weeks after he was sentenced to state prison. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz spoke to the victim's family to try to get some answers. Well, the whole thing's a mockery. Tommy Ketterhagen's family says the justice they thought had been served for their son has been snatched away. On March 6th, Aaron Davison was sentenced to two years in prison. Davison crashed into Ketterhagen in January of 2017, killing the 19 year old on his bicycle. Davison later turned himself in and had been in county jail for more than a year. The Ketterhagen family expected him to be transferred to state prison. That, that was absolutely key because, you know, he's a young man, a first time offender. You know, to be exposed to the state prison system should be a shock. But last week, Tommy's father got an email saying Davison was being released with mandatory supervision for the rest of his sentence. Neither Tommy's family nor Williamson County District Attorney Sean Dick had a clue. I can tell you in the 11 years that I was a defense lawyer, that never happened for any of my clients. Dick says the Texas Department of Criminal Justice just explained to him why he was let go. It has something to do with the amount of credit that he was serving in the county jail and the overall sentence that he was sentenced to. And there's some formula that, that they calculate when he would have a projected release date. Had Davison been sentenced six months ago with less jail time already behind him, he would have gone to prison and his release would have been handled through the typical parole process. Now the Ketterhagen family is considering filing a civil lawsuit. We got the gloves on. I mean, we have to have justice at this point. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Davison was also sentenced to 10 years probation. His attorney says that means if he gets a traffic ticket, he goes to jail.